Dear, it makes you look so colorful. I like, I like the tree on you like that. Why do you do this to me? Yes, I love this table. It doesn't even move. It's so good. This is our new table. It's finally here. And I'm so happy. Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. And I'm Scotty. And thank you all you guys for joining back in. All you new subscribers, old subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the wonderful messages. So let's just keep on going. We got a lot to review. So today we're looking at this one gaze creation villa. Number 34053. 816 pieces. So what you're seeing here is a lot like the Lego Creator series. I know I have a couple of them, but I haven't really gone into them. I will soon. It's a couple I haven't even unboxed yet. Maybe I'll unbox those for you guys. But anyway, this is a lot like that. And it's a series of six. There's six of them. I think it's an older series. It could use a lot of work. I hope that they do more homes with a little bit more detail and finesse into them. Let's just give them a star for trying this. Now, with that being said, let's just take a look at it from the front because there's some things that are cool about it. And there's some things that are like, Maybe it's a little bit old school, but it's still okay. Uh, first of all, the base plate, much longer than the usual one. 48 by 24, there you go. So having a base plate like this kind of length does give it a little bit of problems. It's really loose here because it's so heavy on the side and so light on the side. If you're gonna transport it, move it around, this side is gonna probably most likely 90% pop off all over the place. So that's my only gripe about the base plate. But I like it that it's longer because they can do a little outdoor area and they can do an indoor side, interior, exterior, home here on this side, if you get what I'm saying. I have no idea what I say sometimes, but there you go. So let's take a look at it from the front here. So one thing I do like about the set is actually the park area. I love the tree and I love the seesaw. The seesaw is, is cool. It's just like the other one that we've seen before on the Happy Everyday McDonald's set. Now, I wish they would have made more with the playground. I mean, there's so much empty space here. I don't want flowers. You could totally use this space to put more stuff on here. The tree is pretty crazy. It's nice and big. What I love about the tree is the apples. Yay, they got hanging apples on there. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, it does tip over pretty easy. So you do have to be very careful with that. The drinking area with the little umbrella, the little eatery, whatever you want to call that. The table is really, really loose. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Overall, it's okay. I just wish there was a little bit more there. You see the tree just fell down. And of course, you got this gated fence here around the side. Yeah, I'm just telling you, if you're moving it, it's gonna pop off really easy. The tiles were actually pretty okay. Like, it just, it just looks half done. It doesn't look like it's completed. The whole place needed to be tiled. It's just like, oh, a little bit there. Oh, a little bit there. I wish there was a lot more of that. And you know, you have this nice little tree here. Yeah, it looks like a lollipop, but it's cool. I don't mind the tree there. But again, here, waste of space. Or if you're gonna put flowers on it, Put more flowers all around it. Now that we got the outside out of the way, let's look at the front of the building here. As you can see, it's very simple. One thing to know is that the windows and the doors are super loose. Look at that. Well, the tree fell down again. Tree, I'm gonna put the tree on deer so it doesn't get in the way. But yeah, loosey goosey. What can you do? You see the side of the house here. You got a couple windows here. They look kind of off. They should be a little bit higher. It's not bad. I mean, not terrible. You got a couple of lampposts here in the front. Nothing special, a little balcony there. So let me tell you something about this rooftop. This rooftop is nice. I really do like it, right? But putting it together was actually kind of crazy. Like the manual is insane. Give it up to Wangay for making these really thin so that when I ship them to you, if you guys buy it from the store, it's kind of light. It's not like double the pages. But that comes with a catch where they cram everything into one picture. You have to be very careful and they layer everything. So you have to be careful of how you put the pieces together and that's kind of a no, you get used to it after a while. But one thing here on the, the rooftop part, and I know it's, you, you'll get the idea, but I had to take this piece off so many times because I was like, what kind of angle is this? Like if, you, if I hold this up here, it's, it's actually really hard to see where the bit goes. It looks like it's floating in some of the bots. I'm like, where, what am I doing? And they just kind of had to protrude out. And I'm gonna show you underneath the rooftop exactly what I'm talking about. So it's, once it's together, it's pretty strong, but when they're not, when you, as you're putting it together, there's a possibility it'll collapse on you. And don't forget, this is meant for a six-year-old. If I was six years old, I'd probably give up on this halfway going, I don't know how to do it. Mommy, daddy, please fix it for me. It's not bad. Oh, and on that back side here, these are the other six. Now, do you guys want me to review these other ones for you? You really want me to? I mean, they almost look exactly the same. I'm thinking about if I should get some more of these to build them, but then I'm thinking that the only difference I see is like some are higher than others and some have like a different, totally different exterior. Maybe I should get that one with the basketball court. That actually looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. If you want me to keep going with the creation, I will do it. I'll make a small area. But personally, I probably wouldn't get the other ones because they all look kind of the same. Let's flip it around to the back because this won't take too long because and that's it. 
There you go, that's the bat. There's nothing in there. Holy, holy bat. Four holes. Now, if you haven't seen my other video for the home furnishings from the other brands here, go take a look at it. You can actually put those inside here and probably furnish the home yourself. Or any leftover pieces that you have, go make your little sofa, put a couple guys back here, and they have a little home. But you know, Wangay has a thing where they just want the exterior. And I know a lot of you guys just like the exterior. So now it's up to you to decide whether you like this or not. If this is for you or if you want to just skip out on it. What I can do is we'll do the comparison with the other cities. Here it is. I'm adding insult. I know there's three different brands here, but we're not focusing on that. We're just focusing on whether or not this looks like it goes along with the city or your city or my city. So what do you guys think? What do you think? <laughs> Your head's completely blocked. <laughs> now, of course, we actually do have figures. There's two that comes with this. I'm not going to name them because they're not really mini figures. It'll be like calling you guys another type of toy. You guys might not be happy being called something else. So let's just take a look at it. It's only two anyway. So here they are. It's a boy and a girl. Unfortunately for the girl, her legs are loose. Twerk it, yo. Twerk it, yo. Uh. So you got this little girl in red. She looks like she's wearing her PJs, pajamas, getting ready for sleep. Now they actually look like minifigures, but they're not exactly the same shape. I think we're so used to our minifigure look that we can't accept another toy that tries to come out with another look. Printing is okay, not bad. And the hair looks all right. They even have ears, that's pretty cute. Then we got the boy here, or the man, boy, man, wearing suspenders. The printing is fine. You got this bandana cap on, looking gangster. So there you guys go. Yeah, it's really small, it's not much. It's, it's kind of plain, but it's okay. It's nothing terrible about it. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot worse. When I saw it from the pictures, I was like, oh man, I don't know what this is gonna look like. But as you can see, it was with the buildings earlier, but it's still a little fun little set, and it is compatible with the other bricks. So thank you so much guys again for watching this video and stay tuned for even more. And don't forget to check out BrickMeUpScotty.com. This is available on the store if it's your thing or if it's not, it's there. It'll always be there for you. So you can buy your own. For now, I'm gonna put the girl on the seesaw. Now they're on the seesaw and they're gonna be swinging back and forth. Until next time you guys, break me out. Poof. Do we want some foreground effects? Check out that foreground. It's too much, right? Yeah, I like that. I know we're shipping our stuff from the store all around the world. Canada, US, Belgium, Germany. And I'm so sorry about the shipping problem and you know, the customs and duties and all that kind of stuff. What a pain in the butt. Anyway, so this is a 48 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There, rah, open up all the windows. There, ah, rah. And the entire, the entire tree just fell down. No, why tree, why? It's totally broken. If you guys are watching this, I'll put this in the end of the video. If you guys are watching this, it's totally compatible with Lego, Lego toys. You can put the minifigures together with it. It'll fit fine. This is a Lego minifigure. Totally A-okay, A-okay. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support for this channel. Please subscribe on Scott's face some videos over here and maybe some other ones you haven't seen over here keep it coming guys i'm starting to actually like it here i think i am goodbye you guys